Hello, welcome back. Out on the road, down North Carolina, you know, in 2001, the sports world took a huge hit. Um, probably something that most people weren't ready for. Um, no one was really expecting a true legend to pass on. And I was, a, I've been a fan for a long time and it, it the strength, the hard part is that it hit more than just the racing community. It hit uh, people that were swimmers were wearing the, the hat. People that were in basketball teams were wearing the hat. Um, it didn't matter what the sport was. He transcended everything. We're out here in honor of the legend of Dale Earnhardt. And this legacy Memorial Park is set up for him. Um, in 2001, it was put best by Bill France Jr. and said, uh, we lost Dale Earnhardt. That was the only way he could describe what happened. And I don't think that anyone could have put it any better given the situation. The world wasn't ready for it. Racing wasn't ready for it. We had lost Kuwiki, we had lost a number of racers off track, but we never had a tragedy on track like this before. Um, I believe it was Cannonball Roberts that went over the turn three wall in Daytona and uh, crashed his car. I believe that was what the end of him was. Um, so it wasn't like people hadn't died racing before, but this particular one, to have this individual leave in that way was something that was not prepared for. You can still kind of feel his input around. Um, there, there have been plenty of stories that have come out about the man behind the car and the menace. And one, one of my favorite ones was a church in the area who was trying to get their parking lot paved. And Dale Earnhardt came up and said, how much is it going to cost? And he stroked him a check right there. He said, I want you to go get this done, get it done right. But don't tell anyone. If you tell anyone that I finance this, I will come back myself with a bulldozer and rip the asphalt up. He wasn't doing it for fame and fortune. He just wanted to help people out. This particular statue I saw the first time in Verm. I was in Vermont and the artist was trying to collect money to finance it and deliver it down here um, and it's taken me over 22 years to come down finally and to uh, to see it in person um, we also have over here we have a large piece of granite All along the stones, all along the bricks, you see people who have, who have donated. It's really a, a, an amazing thing to be a part of, to be here after even 22 years and later. Um, you know, like I said, you can you can still feel him around. He's 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 still here. Um, this community was built by him and, and other racers for him. There's the car. There's the car. There's the car. There's the car. So we'll walk around the side, and on the, on the side we have seven different breakouts of three benches each, representing his seven championships, and of course the number three car. You know, when, in an interview, Dale Earnhardt had said, if I die on a racetrack, don't mourn me but so long. The true tragedy is if I was to die in my pickup truck going to get a haircut. There's something very prophetic in that. Um, but, uh, you know, 
that's that's the way he lived that's the way he thought and I I agree with it personally totally but I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sit down here I got a acid 20th anniversary and I know it's uh, it's 22 years but uh, it seems apropos so I'm gonna uh, sit back and enjoy a cigar think about the legacy because in the end what we leave is legacy. Um, hopefully each and every one of us can in our own ways leave something that 20 years later people still think about. Thank you very much and I'll see you on the road.